Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factions Let's Play episode, and today guys... Oh crap. You may be wondering what I'm doing. I'm, bu I'm building a three-layered, automatic, like, like, harvesting automatic, uh, wheat farm. Operation Cookies is the episode today, guys. Operation Cookies. Now, because I don't have that much bone meal yet, this is the, this is what I've come to. I need a lot of wheat, and, oh my god, more emeralds. Hey, it's a new, it's another lucky episode, guys. Wait, why am I finding so much emeralds? What the hell, man? That's like, I thought emeralds are rare. I'm finding them, like, every time I uh, dig a room out. Anyway, guys, I set up an uh, um, automatic bone mill, like, a little room. Uh, I did a video on it before. It's like a little room, and you put bone mill in dispensers on each side, and then it bone mills the one block in between. I was going to do that, but I don't have that much bone mill, so what I'm doing instead is making three layers of 9x9, nine nine, and when I press um, a button, hopefully, it's going to drop dispense, uh, drop a piston, sorry, and then water's going to flow, and then... Uh, the three layers are all going to be lined up, uh, nine by nine, so they all drop down the middle and then go into one hopper. That's my plan. That's the dream. That's the almond dream. So if you if you enjoyed this video so far and you like the idea of this farm, please hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll be back with you in a bit. So I'm also going to do this in like a tutorial format, and I'm going to go through it step by step. So basically, you want to mine out the three nine by nine rooms. And put a hole like, and the center block is where all the things are gonna like. Uh, it's gonna like all the wheat is gonna drop. So you wanna line it up above each other, layered. If you know what I mean. So this is the last room, and basically what I did is I mined up, and then I mined out three here, three here, three here, three here, and then four out, because that's the dimensions to make nine by nine. Now my idea is to have um water a uh, water source block blocked up by a piston and when i switch a lever the piston goes down allowing the water to flow which kills all the um the wheat in the ground and then forcing all the wheat to go down the hole into the hopper dropping all the way down should work but the water flowing on the server is not perfect maybe on other servers um other faction servers it would be better, but on this server, the the water flow is not perfect. Oh, and also, guys, I finished my cactus farm. Um, I changed up a bit. You guys re told me in the comments it was a stupid. What I was trying to do is stupid. Basically, originally it was meant for a melon melon farm, but you can't sell melons at the shops. So I tried changing it to a cactus without actually changing the farm. Terrible idea, I know, but you know, I changed it now and it looks a lot better. It's more efficient, but I need a hopper still. Make some money to get that because you can't build hoppers on the Archon. You have to make them, and they cost 20k. Now I have mined all the um, the rooms out. I'm gonna go collect a lot of dirt. So you wanna, if you wanna factor server like me, you wanna go sp go to spawn, run out to the uh, territory where you can break blocks, and then get the dirt. You don't wanna build up because on a factor server you don't wanna make it a bit obvious. There might be, you might make it obvious, and someone finds your base. So. I'm going to clear out my um, farms and then I'm going to go get dirt and then I'll be back with you guys. So guys, I've mined down my farms, I've harvested my farms, sorry, and I've got loads of dirt. I'm just, I'm just going to quickly show you my cactus farm. This is what I did. Uh, I don't have a hopper yet, so it's not fully functional. Um, but this is it. So basically, this is what I'm planning on doing, sort of idea, sort of this idea with the uh, wheat farm. Look at this. So every time... Using this rule, where every t uh, uh, a cactus can't grow next to a block, so if you have a block here, every time it grows two, it bashes down, and then falls into the stream and gets pushed into the middle. This sort of uh, concept is going to be used on the wheat. There you go, you saw it there. Uh, yeah. For some reason, why does cactus sound like wool when it's being broken? It sounds weird. It sounds like someone keeps breaking wool, and it's scary because I think I'm getting raided, but I'm not. But you know how it is. Hey guys, I'm back. Operation Cookies is pretty much over. So what I basically did is, if you have a look here, I am at floor one. So there's three, three floors, and this is pretty much what I did. It's not probably not the most efficient way to do this, but it's, there's two pistons holding in water, and this switch here switches all takes like there's three layers and it's connected, and it brings the piston down, and then the water flows killing all the uh, wheat so then I can just come collect it uh, basically why there's three layers is because it's more efficient and if you if I show you the second layer and the third layer you'll see why uh, so basically I can break this block here and I can show you so here 
it's the same as the bottom but it just repeated but there's a hole in the middle so all the wheat is going to be pushed into this hole and drop down to the first layer so I can collect it. Uh, so I can just come around here, I can just check all the layers, make sure they're all fully grown and then press the lever. So the, yeah, it goes all the way up and you can see that it's just, it's just the same layer repeated three times. This was the whole idea of this. So now I have pretty much two farms of wheat so I can get wheat pretty fast now. So this should be increase my cookies, my cookie production. And I should be, literally I've had so much cocoa beans in this one chest I've not even needed to farm my cocoa bean farm because I don't have enough wheat. But now I do. So these cocoa beans should be used up. Actually, uh, if you look in this chest here, I have nearly half a chest. And over here I have quite a lot of wheat. So guys, I'm just going to quickly turn all of the, what I can into cookies, and then I'm going to sell all my cookies and see how much money I can get for this episode. Whoa, look how much I got from that wheat. Pretty pretty decent, pretty decent. See how much I have. This is my total amount of cookies, nearly a full double chest. So this is pretty good. This should be about... So a full double chest is about 40k. And uh, I also need to farm this. Let me just quickly harvest this. So, guys, I have this much sugar cane. Nearly a full double chest, and then I have this much cookies. Nearly a full double chest. So this is approximately 70k, around 60, 70k, which is pretty good. I'm just gonna quickly sell all this stuff. Hello guys. So I've actually sold all of my um, produce, and now let's see how much money I make. Sold all my cookies. 51k from 500, I think it was, to 51k. That was from pretty much just this morning me farming this and this and just using up the cocoa beans I already had. So guys, for the end of this episode, I actually want to do a full clear of this, and a full clear of this, and see how much cookies I can get. So I'll be back with you guys when I get one of the, all of these are fully grown. Hey guys, so this is going to be my first clear. I've just cleared this out because this is the boring part, but I just want to see if this works. So let's, let's just test it out. Let's push this lever. You can hear a lot of pistons. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh my lord, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Oh my god, it, oh, it's raining corn. Corn? Wheat. It's raining wheat. Hallelujah, it's raining wheat. It's kind of glitchy. I told you the water's a bit glitchy in this. Let me just stand here for a while. I'll be back with you when it's finished. Okay, guys, I think it's done. There is some wheat that doesn't get destroyed by this, which I'm going to need to fix. I don't know why it does that. I think I'm going to need to move the slab one back. That will probably be the problem. And it will fix it, most likely. So, let's go and pull this lever and stop the water. You can hear it through, like, the three layers. So, how much wheat did we manage to get with, with both farms? With both farms, we managed to get... Uh, how much is that? That's about... Four stacks. Wait, that's glitch, right? Yeah, four stacks and a two. Not bad, not bad. Well, we're improving. We're not like we're gaining more wheat. That was quite a lot of work for how much I gained, but you know, it's something to do. See, so how much do we need? We need about three, and let's turn these into cookies. Okay, look how much cookies we got. We got about half an in inventory. Let's go sell these and wrap up the episode. Okay, guys, at the end of this episode today, I have got. 60,000 currency. Now, that's pretty good. Yesterday we had 40k, but we invested it in the scan spawner, and today, guys, we have 60k. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll be posting daily content from now on till the end of time, probably. Maybe not. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.